It's the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Brian Anderson, joined courtside by Grant Hill and Clark Kellogg. Our reporter tonight, Allie LaForce. Allie, it's all yours. Well, Drew Holiday with two brothers in the league and his wife's a three-time world champion midfielder with the U.S. women's soccer team said, quote, she's literally the athlete and the winner in our family. And Brian, she'll sometimes critique his games, but he said, quote, that means a lot to me. It's real, and she backs it up. Good man. Thanks, Allie. And we're expecting an intense battle in the front court tonight, Grant. Both teams with a lot of talent in those positions. You know, B.A., it'll be an interesting matchup here with the talent and size of their front court. It should make this game extra challenging for these squads. They can't just count on being the dominant force down low. They'll have to get a little creative. Now let's take a look at the Bucks' opening lineup. Middleton is the three, with Giannis playing the power forward. Holiday and Allen are at guard for him, and it's Lopez in at the five. And for the Wizards, Avdia and Kuzma, they make up the forwards. Morris and Beal are the backcourt pair, and it's Porzingis in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Here's Middleton. Avdia pulls it in. Man, I can't believe he blew that gimme, guys. Well, I know he's frustrated about that. Porzingis misses. It's Middleton on the wing. And it's yes, Middleton, Middleton finishing it off. It's really easy to admire and respect the explosiveness of Middleton. I mean, if you give this guy a lane to the basket. Outside Porzingis. Three-pointer, no good. Here's Milwaukee. Last season, Washington was hot out of the gates. They started 10-3, and three, but things did not end well. You know, and after that hot start, B.A., a 25-44 and 44 ending for the Wizards, failing to make the play-in game as well. Just a disappointing season after the promise Washington showed earlier. You know, you can give a defender a lot of trouble if you're consistent with that turnaround jumper. It's almost impossible to block. Outside Holiday. Allen finds Holiday. Now on it, Akumpo. And they double up on it, Akumpo. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. First, perhaps the best trait of Giannis is his loyalty, Clark. Love that about him, B.A. We've seen others test those free agent waters. No begrudgment there, but not Giannis. Stayed in Milwaukee, a small market team, signing an extension in 2020, and then led the Bucks to that 2021 title. The Greek freak didn't need to get to a super team to get a ring. He birthed and led a super team right where he was. And that one falls for Anadokounmpo. And last season, Giannis passing Kareem Abdul-Jabbar as the Bucks' all-time leading scorer. He wants to finish his career in Milwaukee, so that total bound to grow. So Anadokounmpo nails both of them. And Grant, both Giannis and Kareem dominated the paint. But they get it done differently. Yeah, that they do. Kareem, possibly the best ever in the post. Whereas Giannis might be the most dominant slasher and driver in league history. Now here's Morris. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Wow, he doesn't make those kind of plays too often. Sweet move inside. Fantastic replay we just saw of the mobile one drive. Yeah, taking the onus on himself to make something happen. Got it into the teeth of the defense and made Giannis them pay. The and he football. gets it to go. Assist Boy, the overwhelming strength of Giannis pass. just excels at fighting his way through the defense. Very impressive. Beal outside. Back to Morris. Pass to Kuzma. Milwaukee with the rebound. No excuses, none. I mean, with the defense non-existent, I mean, he has to connect from there. And clearly not enough defensive presence there. Boy, he just took advantage and a ferocious jam. Guys, that'll get his heart rate up a little bit. I can tell you that. Watch out. He can be a dangerous player when his motor is revved up that way. Now here's Beal. Here's Avdia. 
for three. Porzingis, he drains that one after two misses. Now one for three. You know, one of the things I love about Porzingis' game, he's really a terrific catch-and-shoot guy, especially for a seven-footer. Allen, and the shot is good on the assist by Holiday. Pounding it inside early and often, setting a physical tone. Pass to Kuzma. Back to Abdiya. Kumpo grabs the board. Milwaukee in the lead. Allen, the pass to Middleton. Kuzma against Honor to Kumpo. Takes a three. Offensive rebound. Bucks. Lopez finds Holiday. For three, Allen. Two shots, two makes. Off to a good start. I tell you what, he clearly is one of the best players in the league who does not get the same kind of gas that other guys do. But there's no better all-around guard in the NBA than Drew Holiday. Now a timeout called by Washington. And Grant, last season, Drew Holiday winning the NBA Teammate of the Year award for the second time. Yeah, and in 2021, B.A., he got the NBA Sportsmanship Award, too. So needless to say, Holiday tremendously respected by his peers and known for his dedication to others. So Washington ends up going with a new group. Right against Carter. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. They'll pin that one on Serge Ibaka. Well, you know, you've got to really appreciate DeLon Wright's uh, relentless desire to get better. I mean, this guy's constantly trying to hone his craft. And let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for the Bucks. Well, you got to be impressed with how selfless they've been so far. Their passing has been simply outstanding. And, you know, in no time at all, they've also started finding points inside. Already taking apart that interior defense. That one's off. He does not get the second one. You know, and where the Bucks seem to dominate every year is on the glass, particularly at the defensive end. Number one in the league the last four seasons. Now here's Portis. Carter, the pass to Ibaka. And that's a foul DeLon called on DeLon Wright. First personal that's foul. his first foul of the game. Second team foul. Yeah, he tried to gain position, but couldn't quite get there. Yeah, he was one step late that time. Portis finds Ingles. Now here's Ibaka. Hachimura covering. Ibaka, good. And Grant, I guess for the Bucks. hey, you can't teach size. And they're good fundamentally as well, B.A. I mean, they block out. They fight to maintain position. If you're going to beat them, it probably won't be with second-chance points. Martin, a good look. The ball's knocked loose. The Bucks have gone 6 of 9 and finding their rhythm now. And he lobs it up. 136 left now in the first quarter. Here's Hachimura. And terrific work on the offensive glass as he picks up the deuce. Second chance points are always painful. Have to make the effort to box out. Hey, guys standing around spectating. I mean, you got to get in there and get tough. Washington has gone one of two from three-point land so far. And it's slammed in by Hachimura. When he might lack in height at the four spot, he makes up for it with his burst. Here's Portis. And that Bobby one drops. Portis. And it comes off an assist from Ingles. Getting Whoa, enough shots Ingles. in close to play inside out. The Wizards have gotten five of 11 shots to go. Right against Carter. Pass to Gafford. Now here's Barton. Tight defense on him. And this is where Barton does his eating. Deep inside. Leaping with ease to punch it home. Carter, the pass to Portis. Out of bounds. It'll be Washington's ball. Washington basketball. And the Bucks making a change here. Hill's checked in. George Hill. There's 39 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. 
pass to Kispert. Here's Barton. It's not going to go for him. Milwaukee goes the other way with it. And it's Ibaka on the drive. And the shot goes. And Ibaka is a fighter. Someone who enjoys the physicality of the game and attacking defenses. It's right on the wing. Checked by Hill. Right, the pass to Achimura. And it's blocked by Ibaka. And so it's the Milwaukee Bucks leading by six as we wrap up the quarter. And it's mostly due to their superb shooting. They've wasted very few possessions. We'll be right back. Enjoyed the broadcast so far, halfway through the first half in this one. And when you consider how the Bucks are doing, guys, your thoughts? They're off to a rock-solid start. They brought a well-thought-out plan into this one. Yeah, you know what makes it really easy for the coaching staff in that case? No adjustments needed. Just keep on keeping on. Well, Grant, every team is looking for that perfect five on the floor, that magical lineup. In your mind, is that synonymous with small ball? I think it is, B.A. I mean, having players that can play small, can switch on defense, obviously play multiple positions on the offensive end, it's just a combination when executed properly could be a nightmare for the opponent. Taking a look at the Bucks. At forward, it's the talented Giannis and Middleton. George Hill out there with Drew Holiday. And it's Lopez in at the five. Now here's Lopez. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. Pass to Anadokounmpo. And Porzingis with the block. That reach of Porzingis is just outrageous. I mean, I love when he uses it on defense to stifle shooters. Milwaukee and it's 6'9", Denny Avdia, great size for a wing center. Yeah, B.A. And you First combine that with his motor, too. I mean, he's already an excellent defender with the versatility to cover inside and out. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. No good on that one. Matthews, he's checked in for Hill. And he's good on the second. You know, for this Bucks team, they seem to play together as well as any team we've seen recently. Yeah, this team has a bunch of players who complement each other very well. Giannis, they've got so many different ball. ways that they can that's play on the floor. Two. That's what Rip makes them bad. so successful. Well, that <laughs> and Giannis. And let's send it over to Ali LaForce. Well, guys, the continuity for the Bucks is a strength. Chris Middleton said, quote, we've been through every type of situation, so you know what to expect. There's no need to worry about failing because you know what you need to do. Brian, some call it corporate knowledge. Well, a key aspect when it comes to NBA dynasties. Thanks, Allie. Now here's Ana Kumpo. Six points for him. And stolen by Porzingis. Morris with it. Guarded now by Holiday. Oh, and a slam dunk by Morris. That's a terrific play and a good sign. This team needs Porzingis to facilitate as well as score the ball. Holiday passes to Anadokounmpo. Ooh, Morris with a steal. And the Wizards on the break. Beal from outside. The rebound by the Bucks. Great job of closing the space and getting a hand up. And, you know, he's a guy who knows how to defend the three-point shot. He's not going to just give it to you. He's going to make you earn it. Now here's Lopez. Now quiet so far offensively. Searching for his first point of the game. Anadokounmpo. That's good. Giannis, a little power goes a long way, getting him past the contact and to a shot. Beal outside. Pass to Avdia. He tries for three. Unable to get that one. Milwaukee goes the other way with it. Here's Middleton. The shot, no good. 
The Wizards have gotten two of five shots to fall this second quarter. Morris finds Porzingis, and he gets that one. Porzingis has got five. Boy, you know, guys, the combination of strength and height for Porzingis allowing him to take on physical defense much better. And he lobs it up to the rim. And so the ball out of bounds. Middleton tucks it last. Yeah, communication breakdown. Two guys thinking in opposite directions. The pass winds up in the stands. We got to see that one again. That block was all out effort. Such great time and defensive awareness, too. When you have to face a defender that can reject you like this, it certainly can change your approach. Allen, he's checked in for Milwaukee. Carter comes in for Holiday. Second quarter play, almost three minutes gone here. Here's Beal. Pulls it. And too long on the shot. Boy, he's got to be disappointed in the result there. I mean, the defender really didn't make any impact at all. Giannis Shot's good by Amadokounmpo. You know, inside Giannis's length really helps him get by the defense. Not much they can do to trip him up or slow him down. He's a force. And Washington has possession. The Bucks getting their last shot to go. Porzingis for three. Rebound, Milwaukee. Adana Kumpo has got five rebounds in the game. Inside. Pass to Allen. Over Avdia. Great start so far. Three of three in this one. Getting better and better as a playmaker. Giannis is the ultimate team first superstar. He does put up big assist numbers. And that's an evolving part of his game. The Bucks have gone four for six here in the second. Here's Carter. It's rebounded by Morris. Washington has gone 0 for 3 from deep to begin the second. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. Good work defensively by Lopez. Milwaukee in the lead. Middleton finds Ana de Kumpo. And a nice finish on the layup. Ana de Kumpo has got 12. Giannis continues to expand his offensive arsenal, and with that, his confidence and ability can actually take over more. Now a timeout called by Washington. And as the coaches draw up their strategies, the players staying hydrated with some Gatorade. That's key to keeping them at their best all the way up to the buzzer. It really is, and every one of those players knows it. They're all making sure to stay hydrated. It's impossible to play your A game if you're not getting enough to drink, especially towards the end of games when the physical toll of a long contest really starts to add up. Connaughton, he's checked in for Milwaukee. There's the minute 47 left in the second. Gafford, there's the drive. Oh, it's blocked by Lopez. Lopez showing off the length there to get to that shot. Now off the inbound, and finished off by Gafford as he lays it in. The Bucks have gotten five of seven shots to fall in the second. Out of bounds, it'll be Washington's ball. I'm not sure whose fault that was, guys, but they need to get on the same page here. Out of bounds, Wizards ball as Washington keeps possession. He had the right idea, just couldn't come up with the swipe. You know, fellas, one second quicker, and that's going the other way. One thirty-three left in the first half of this one. Now that's how you use the screen right there. And it leads to a thunderous finish. That was nice. And, you know, not enough help from the defense there to compensate. He gets a clean look, and that's exactly how you draw it up. Ooh, lots of contact on the shot. So two free throws will follow that whistle. And, you know, at almost seven feet tall, Anthony Kumpo is, is dangerous down inside, really. I mean, the defense has to be physical with him if they want to have a chance at preventing him from scoring in the paint.
he can't get the first one. He is creeping up in those all-time conversations. Giannis has won regular season and finals MVP plus defensive player of the year. Quite the resume, and he is not done for a while, folks. And he sinks the second. There's a minute 17 left to play in the second quarter. Pass to Kispert. Back to right. Out left to the wing. And here's Gafford. Now here's Wright. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Clock is at three. Oh, the shot no good by Kispert. The Bucks have gotten five of seven shots to fall in the second. Barton against Carter. Barton outside. Up and over Carter. The rebound by the Bucks. Oh, and Kumpo has got his sixth rebound on the night. And it's Crazy Allen who out. slams it home. This Great teamwork on that drive. Punctuated by a strong finish. That is the perfect fast break, guys. Getting a hoop before the defense can get set. Martin outside. With the floater. Adana Kumpo with the block. And they can run out the clock here. No need to rush it. Yeah, don't give them another possession here. Allen against Barton. Kispert. Rejected by Lopez. And he's able to get it back. Out of bounds. It'll be Washington's ball. Washington basketball. And for the box, Bobby Portis. Drew Holiday. Three seconds left. It doesn't go for him. Giannis Antetokounmpo has been on display for the Bucks. On the glass, he was an absolute tyrant, just owning the board. Back after this. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, folks, can't tell you uh, how, how much it means to us to have you back with us on the uh, Halftime Show on 2K Sports. Ernie Johnson. Uh, Kenny the Jet Smith, Shaquille O'Neal. Oh, means yeah. the world, doesn't it? Yeah. 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 Okay. A tremendous game we're seeing from Giannis Antetokounmpo. He had 13 points, 8 rebounds, and 1 block. And last game, he could never really get going. Maybe that lit a fire under him tonight. And uh, Shaq, what did you see out there from the Bucks? Ball movement was a real factor for the offense. They played unselfishly with patience. Guys got shots in the table spots. Get those high percentage looks, good things tend to happen. Kenny, what's your take on Washington so far? Well, they have to improve their defense. Guys were getting burned on the perimeter. They wouldn't get a hand up. That's my man. Say, hand down, man down. Oh, you got to get some help. That pretty much covers everything. I mean, shot. You think they played their best? No way, no way. That's all for now. Say goodbye to the folks. Thanks goodbye, for folks. joining us. Third quarter, just about ready to begin. DC family! And happy you could join us. We've got two quarters left to go in regulation. It's been a clinic out there by Giannis Antetokounmpo. They've leaned on him to provide a lot of offense, and that's how he likes it. And you know what? They've come at him a few different ways defensively, and nothing has slowed him down. Washington trailing. Now Beal. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. At the two and the three are Beal and Obvia. In the middle, it's Porzingis with Kuzma by his side. And it's Morris in at the one. 
That's the five on the floor for the Wizards. First he cannot be reckless around Porzingis. He's skilled at seeking out contact and drawing the foul while he shoots. Porzingis taking two shots. That free throw good from Porzingis. And early in his career, Porzingis was a shot creator. You think he can get back to that, Grant? You know, B.A., yeah. In Dallas, his role was more catch and shoot. So it'll be interesting to see in a different system how active a role KP can fill, especially going to work inside. Both free throws good from Porzingis. Really always a plus to have a big guy stroke it from the line like that. The soft touch on full display. Allen, the pass to Holiday. Off target from outside. And Washington shooting at about 34% here in this game. Oh, it's blocked by Lopez. And they get it back. Porzingis misses. Milwaukee in the lead. Pass to Allen. Outside Holiday. Anadokounmpo with it. Defended by Kuzma. And Anadokounmpo with the basket. On the assist by Holiday. Anadokounmpo's got 15. Nice dime drop there from Holiday. Excellent awareness. Beal outside. And Chris Middleton gets the whistle that time. That's foul number two for him. And it's time to take another look at that powerful block. Those kinds of plays are the ones that get you on the lead and help keep you in front. That is now his seventh field goal in ten attempts. Impressive. <laughs> a great move. I mean, the defense has no response. Yeah, if that's a harbinger of things to come, he's looking at having a very big second half. A moment to hear from Ali LaForce. Thanks, B.A. Bradley Beal played for Coach Greg Popovich with the U.S. national team, and Pop said, quote, he's hard to keep up with. His balance and movement are very impressive. He stops on a dime, can pull up and shoot. That, along with his excellent footwork, are the most impressive things for me. Brian? Yeah, great breakdown there, Ali. Thank you. Yeah, hoping to tap into something that'll get them clicking. Yeah, and you know, that's going to be the focus of this timeout. They need to come up with a spark to get the offense going. Different look for Milwaukee. Hill, he's checked in for Lopez. Portis comes in for Middleton. And it's Carter in for Allen. Here's Porzingis. Seven points in the game. Pass to Morris. 90 seconds into the second half now. Giannis with the rebound. anacupo has got double-digit rebounds now in the game. That one falls. Giannis Eight of ten and scoring with confidence. And just totally relentless. Only increasing the intensity level. Yeah, I love the fact he doesn't play the score. He just keeps coming. Attack mode. He doesn't know how to step off the gas pedal. That was another look at our Mobile One drive of the game just a moment ago. Making an impact. I love the aggression. Playing on that front foot and looking to expand their lead. He does not lack for confidence. He should. I mean, this guy is a dangerous score. Pass to Portis. Holiday against Morris. Holiday passes to Hill. Outside Carter. Holiday from long range. And it goes out of bounds. Out of that bounds. one off Porzingis. Possession to Milwaukee. A little under two and a half minutes gone by in the third quarter. Screen, screen, screen. Holiday from long range. He drops it from range. With deep range and a wide arsenal of moves, Holiday keeps defenders off balance. 
Pass to Avdia. Now Kuzma. Oh, they get a hand on it. And stolen by Anadokounmpo. It's a one-on-one -on -one situation. And they double up Anadokounmpo. It's tipped. Ooh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. So that's just an assertive play by Giannis against tough defense, drawing a foul and still getting the shot off. At the line for the Bucks, Giannis Antetokounmpo taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. Hachimura is checked in for Washington. Matthews, he's checked in for the Bucks. Connaughton comes in for Carter. And so Anadokounmpo nails both of them. Washington with the ball. Down by 12. To the paint. And Porzingis gets it to go. On the assist from Morris. Porzingis has got four points this quarter. Milwaukee has gone only one of three from deep here in the third. And he's going for the lob. And Giannis with the dunk. How about the springs of this guy, Antetokounmpo, also known as the Creek Freak. I mean, he just gets up off the ground like a rocket on these alley-oop chances. Back to Morris. Just over three and a half minutes through the third. Beal with it. Portis picks him up. And it's good for two. Beal's got seven points in the game. And Bradley Beal getting a huge contract this summer. Now, he committed to being with the Wizards for his prime. And there was some speculation he might leave. But he submitted his time in Washington for many years to come. Two minutes. Washington calls timeout. Protecting the rim has to be their top objective right now. And, you know, just look at the numbers, guys. I mean, they are being taken to the woodshed in the paint. Here they come. C.C. Bailey. It's your Wizards answer. Washington going with an almost entire new group here. Gafford, he's checked in for Kristaps Porzingis. Kispert comes in for Avdia. Barton, he's checked in for Beal. And Wright subbed in for Morris. Here's Kispert. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. Barton, the pass to Achimura. Takes one from 10 feet. Giannis Anadokounmpo grabs the board. Anadokounmpo's got rebound number 11. Here's Portis. Outside, Hill. Pass to Anadokounmpo. And he drops it in from the low post. Anadokounmpo's got 12 now in this quarter. And he can take over in a nanosecond. I mean, once he catches fire, it's difficult to squelch it. Back to right. Over to the wing. Here's Hachimura. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Personal foul. It's going to be on Bobby Portis. And a look now at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Bucs. Well, you know, they've been tremendous, I think, when it comes to sharing the basketball. You know, getting guys involved on the plays and creating offensive opportunities for everybody. Equal opportunity offense is fun to watch. And another thing that's impressed me has been their consistency with their two-point jump shots. Getting it done from the mid-range. And some changes here for the Bucs. Ibaka, he's checked in for Portis. And Chris Middleton is subbed in for Matthews. And the second free throw is good. The Bucks have gotten seven of their nine shots to fall. Quality shooting in the second half. To the middle. 
On to Kumpo, the pass to Middleton. Over Kispert. And it's Milwaukee Middleton. scoring again. Goes Man, the form that Middleton Giannis shoots those jumpers Kumpo. with. Absolutely picture perfect. Right outside. Pass to Kispert. Back to right. And the layup is good after a nice leap pass. I like the play call. Very solid. Making perfect use of the pick to get a great look. And that one's good. Middleton. That's just what we call man up strength from Middleton. I mean, taking the hit and then kind of effortlessly knocking down the shot as well. Now here's Barton. All alone. Here's Gafford. On to Kumpo with the block. Hey, when Giannis is lurking nearby, you got to be careful because his wingspan can erase a lot of shots. Pass to Ibaka. Now here's Middleton from the arc. They get the rebound. On to Kumpo. That's good. On to Kumpo has got 27 points. And the defense has no one to blame but themselves. I mean, they just let him get right to the rim. Yeah, you know, he should be getting extra attention That's from the, the defense, not less. Giannis Antetokounmpo has listen. been on display for Milwaukee. Absolutely the carrying the offense. The he ends the quarter with 14. All right, stick around. We'll be right back after this. All right, let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. And from the two-guard spot, an unselfish play like this sets a fantastic tone. That's right. I mean, that's not his primary duty, but when the situation calls for it, he can do it and does it well. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four. On the floor for Milwaukee starting the fourth quarter. Holiday and Allen are at guard for him. Chris Middleton is out there with Brooke Lopez. And it's Ingles in at the three, the small forward. Well, you hate to give Lopez an easy one around the rim, but you don't like sending him to the line either. Shooting for Milwaukee, Brooke Lopez. Two shots. Shooting two. First free throw is good. Nice looking set shot for Lopez. He can stretch the floor just about to the three point line. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. And the Wizards shooting only 36% so far in this game. And a slam dunk by Porzingis. Boy, this team takes on a different attitude when Porzingis imposes his will like that. His energy and attitude, infectious. Holiday. And Holiday powers it home. What a finish. I mean, he just took over himself. What a show of power right there from the point guard. Man, sweet. And you know, guys, when your point guard is making explosive plays at the rim, I really do think it sets the tone for the rest of the team. Oh, and a fast break for the Bucks. For three, Allen. Ooh, he's locked Jason in. Dreams his fifth shot in his many attempts. Set him up well there. Brooke Lopez showing his vision and willingness as a passer. Pass to Abdia. Back to Morris. Here's Porzingis. Covered by Lopez. From 13. Porzingis misses. And the shooter had very little space on that attempt. And guys, that's exactly the kind of high-impact defense they want to see Jason out of him. Allen. Since half, there's been a stark contrast between these teams. I'm talking about efficiency at the offensive end. And that's why you have such a huge gap in the shooting numbers between the teams. Pass to Avdia. Outside Porzingis. 
drills it from deep. Nights like this tonight. I mean, that's why you pay Porzingis max money at times. He simply just carries the offense. Here's Ingles. And that one drops Yo, for him. Ingles. Well, the defense allowed that one. He had a clear path to the cup. Washington has gotten three of their seven threes to find the net in this matchup. Pass to Abdia. Here's Morris. Back to Abdia. Now Porzingis. Offensive board. Outside, Ingles. Lopez with it. Holiday passes to Allen. And the shot is good on the assist by Holiday. Holiday's got his fourth assist in this one. Their offense is looking like a well-oiled machine, getting any look they want. Boy, this is borderline ridiculous. I mean, every single attempt finding the bottom of the bucket. Porzingis up top. Pass to Kuzma. Outside Porzingis. Clock at six. Let's it go from 11. Rebounded by the Bucks. Holiday finds Middleton. For three, Allen. Porzingis grabs the board. Washington has gone one of two from deep in this quarter. Here's Morris. Got a hand on it. Defense. That is his signature car. Drew Holiday, an elite stopper on the perimeter. The Bucks have gotten five of six shots to go in the fourth. Allen, the pass to Lopez. And it's good. Look, Two okay. points. Such confidence as a passer. He hits guys in stride. It makes it look easy. A bit under three and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. Morris outside. Back to Abdia. Rejected by Lopez. And they recover it. Shot clock at six. Here's Beal. And another miss by Washington. For Milwaukee, they've gotten almost all of their shots to fall in the fourth. Six of seven. Outside Holiday. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. Kristaps Porzingis picks one up. You know, Holiday is deceptively tall and strong and has great point guard skills, and that makes it really hard to defend him. Drew Holiday. At the line for two. Shooting two. And the first one at the line is good. Holiday really is a soft-spoken guy on and off the court. Leads by example, is extremely reliable and talented, and his teammates have great respect for him because of it. A new lineup here for Washington. Ibaka, he's checked in for Milwaukee. Matthews comes in for Allen. Holiday hits them both. Two minutes. Boy, it's been a minute since they last scored. It has been. And at what point do you alter your strategy? Try to get back on track. Pass to Gill. Now Gibson. Good work defensively by Lopez. A minute 39 left in the fourth quarter. Here's Matthews. Got it. West Matthews strong and confident. Able to finish through Third tough defense there. Washington has gone one of two from deep in this quarter. Just look at the score differential in this one. I mean, a truly commanding and dominant performance here for the Bucks. And it was a big-time performance across the board. They looked like they were having fun out there, Grant. <laughs> yeah, B.A., it was almost like watching a cat play with a mouse. I mean, they did pretty much anything they wanted to do out there today. And as it was happening, as it was building, you knew this was a monster game for Giannis Antetokounmpo. And I love his composure. He didn't try to do too much or force things, but he was ready to take advantage of every opening the defense gave him. Washington's gone two of three from beyond the arc here in the fourth. That's tipped. 
and we're going to have a jump, jump, jump ball. ball. Jump ball violation. That's a jump ball. And Washington has possession. Back to Gibson. Pass to Gill. And here's Wright. Here's Kispert. Shot clock at five. And that one's good. Gill doesn't have to break his momentum at all to catch the pass. Well, Milwaukee's shooting the ball incredibly well tonight. 73% from the floor. Here's Lopez. Soft touch off the glass. Stepping up and nailing an important shot to put this away. And, you know, this run shows what kind of attitude this team has. I mean, the win is there. Go get it. Barton, he's checked in for right. The Bucks also with a sub. Norris checked in for Lopez. 41 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Pass to Kispert. Here's Goodwin. He's covered by Holiday. Releases. The rebound by the Bucks. There's no way that's the best look this offense can produce. Not at all. I mean, that's where they want him looking for a teammate, not trying to do it on his own. He needs to share the wealth there. Holiday against Barton. He takes it in. Oh, there's a killer two-hand slam. Running with purpose. Whenever Barton gets a lane right to the rim, He's going to rise up with power and throw it down. And so it's Milwaukee easily grabbing this one. That's the end A of the statement game. road victory. So impressive. Like statement indeed, B.A. It was in enemy team. territory. But they sure controlled the game safely. and took we'll the crowd completely game. out of it. That's how you win on the road. Well, now we have some time to check in with Allie LaForce. Allie. Giannis, an impressive performance. Talk about what this game showed you about your team. Oh, this game was great. I think everybody came out ready. Everybody played great. We were moving the ball and knocking down shots. But most importantly, we were playing great defense. But at the end of the day, it's just a win. We've got to build off this. We've got to go back to the gym, watch film, and get better. It's just one piece of a greater goal. That's right. Thanks, Giannis. Allie, thank you as always. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Grant Hill, Clark Kellogg, and Allie LaForce, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for watching. We'll see you next time.